Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how to uh, adjust the swipe speed and how to use the new options in Flexibility Premium Advanced View. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to that. And um, so I just cleared the cache and enabled the service and accessibility. Um, and if you go to the advanced view and you see that this text is blank, that means uh, that swipe position has not been set yet. So in order to set that, we need to go to uh, Amazon Flex offer screen. And that's it. Go back, refresh, and we'll see that swipe position is correctly set at position 2568. Um, and this might be different uh, for you. It just depends on the phone size. Uh, so it might be a different value, but if it says it's correctly set, or if it says it's manually set, <clears throat> then you're good. Um, so once everything is set up, we can click on the test swipe button. Let's do that. And what we see is down here, there's a line that's being drawn. And that line is the actual gesture um, that's being drawn in real time. That's its actual position, and that's its actual speed. So uh, what, we, what we have down at the bottom is a gesture overlay view, which whatever you're doing on the screen is being drawn, right? So right now I'm dragging my finger and it's drawing those lines. Those are gestures. So we press test swipe and there is our swipe left gesture. It starts from the right and it goes to the left. And that's a left, uh, a swipe left. Um, so we can adjust uh, the start time of the, of the swipe. And what that is, is uh, the time in milliseconds. Um, from the time the gesture starts to the time the stroke should start. So uh, it's just how long does the, uh, the gesture take to start? That's what the start time is, right? So the default is zero, which means it's immediate. Uh, but let's just change it to something much higher for demonstration uh, 1000 and we'll clear this and then we'll press test swipe and we'll see that it there's a 1000 millisecond delay um, from when we press test swipe and from when the swipe actually happens so do that one more time uh, test swipe and, it, and then there's a delay okay and then swipe duration is um, the duration in milliseconds the stroke takes to tra to traverse the path and it must be positive um, so the default for this is one uh, we're going to change it to something much higher for demonstration 5000 uh, let's clear this again and press test swipe and we'll see that the gesture is being very slowly drawn across the screen um, and that's because it's taking 5,000 milliseconds um, to complete the path. The path is um, hard-coded into the app. You can't change the path. What the path is, is uh, it starts from the right and goes to the left making it a left swipe, which is what we want. <clears throat> so, um, the reason I added this is because um, what works for me on my phone um, doesn't always work well for everyone else. And um, so swipe start time by default is set to zero and swipe duration by default is set to one. Uh, but it was previously set to 0 and 3. And uh, some people 
preferred that setup. <clears throat> so what you can do is just, uh, if you prefer it, swipe that way, the old way. You can just change it from zero to three. Uh, do test swipe, and you can see it's really fast. I mean, it starts immediately, and it takes three milliseconds to go from right to left, um, which is really fast. You can't really even see the difference from uh, what it is set to now, uh, zero, swipe duration one. Uh, zero to one is just faster by two milliseconds. Um, but that, um, um, it's good to be able to change it because some things, uh, it might just work better for you if it's set to something else, like zero to three, to accept blocks. Um, so you can change it however you want, but I'd recommend, um, keeping swipe start time set to zero, uh, play around with the duration. Um, if you want to create a delay, so remember each time you press the tap button, a swipe happens on the screen, just like this, at that position, at that speed. Um, so you could, if you wanted to, you could de delay it. Because usually what happens is um, a block will be pulled up and the swipe will already be completed before the button is actually there. Um, so you require an extra tap to actually swipe at the button, um, which is what we use independent swipe for. Uh, but you could delay the swipe to say however long it takes for a block to actually pull up on your app to say, you know, you could delay it by 100 milliseconds. Or, you know, you could make it, um, I don't really, I don't think you would ever want the duration to ever be um, higher than three, because that's just going to make the swipe go slower from right to left. Um, so yeah, I'd probably keep it between one to three, uh, but you can definitely play around with it however you want. And so just again, we have it, uh, set it back to zero and we'll just do test swipe and we're going to see the swipe. It's the actual swipe is going to happen down there, right? So we see it go from right to left, and it happens so fast you can't even tell that it starts at the right and goes to the left, but if you set swipe duration to something really high, you can see it slowly go from right to left, and that's how swipe works. And that's how you adjust the speed, and uh, yeah, if you have any more questions about that, let me know. I uh, recommend, again, I, rec I recommend uh, keeping swipe start time <clears throat> uh, to zero, which means it's going to, the swipe will happen immediately, um, and duration should be something pretty low as well, um, because you don't want swipe to slowly go from left to right. And we'll just uh, change the swipe position, uh, let's say if... Uh, well, let's just, yeah, we'll just, uh, so right now it's set to 2568, we're going to say 2268. And what's that? That's going to make um, the swipe happen higher on the screen. So we set that, let's uh, press test swipe, and we'll see it now that uh, the swipe is much higher on the screen. And it's still set uh, to be a slow swipe, but let's change that. Um, so yeah, uh, the swipe position, as you can see, we don't want it all the way up here because that's not where, uh, the swipe to accept button is going to be in the flex app. So you'd really only want to change the swipe position, um, if it's off, right? If it's not in the right spot where the swipe to accept button is going to be in the flex app. So we'll change it back to 2568 and press test swipe and we'll see it's at the right position down there where the swipe to accept button would be. And obviously I don't want it to be that slow. So change my swipe duration back to one.
make sure my swipe start time is zero and press test swipe and boom now I got a fast swipe which is what I want it's at the correct position and yeah so what you can do uh, you can go into the advanced view press test swipe uh, make sure it's at the right position which it should be automatically set to the right position but you can go there press test swipe to confirm that and you can also uh, see the speed of the swipe how long it takes to start it should you should see the line immediately after pressing this button test swipe and should be just like this test swipe press test swipe boom right there is a swipe all right uh, thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions about this and appreciate it bye